Thousands of anti-government protesters will take to the streets in Russia's capital, Moscow, later to criticize Vladimir Putin's return to the Kremlin for a third term as president. There have been intense efforts to crush the dissent. Police raided the homes of several opposition leaders on Monday, and Russia's parliament recently approved new laws to impose heavy fines on protesters. Our Moscow correspondent, Steve Rosenberg, sent this report. Forced their way in in the morning, they left 13 hours later with a mountain of boxes. When police searched the home of Kremlin critic Alexei Navalny, they seized computers, documents and mobile phones and turned the place upside down. The crime of the century must have taken place because we know that there are 160 investigators in this group. It must be the biggest crime ever to be investigated in Moscow. Among the other activists whose homes were searched was Sergei Udaltsov and TV presenter Ksenia Sabchak. Vladimir Putin was once a family friend, but she's grown critical. She was detained at one recent protest, and on Monday, police confiscated her money and her passport. I never thought in the beginning of 19th of 90s that once again we will be back in such a strong authoritarian regime which is actually becoming totalitarian. Police said that the searches were part of an investigation into this outbreak of violence at last month's demonstration near the Kremlin. The people whose homes were searched have been declared witnesses but they fear they could be prosecuted as the authorities try to crush dissent ahead of Tuesday's anti-government protest. There's international concern, too. The United States is deeply concerned by the apparent harassment of Russian political opposition figures on the eve of the planned demonstrations on June 12th. This follows searches of opposition leaders' homes and several arrests in connection with the May 6th demonstration in Moscow and also follows the passage of the new law in Russia that imposes disproportionate penalties for violations of rules concerning public demonstrations. Last month's protest in Moscow attracted tens of thousands of people. Opposition figures are calling on Muscovites to take to the streets in large numbers again on Tuesday in defiance of the Kremlin.